What's up, guys? Hey, I uh, wanted to talk about uh, success again. I've been talking about that a lot lately. It's been on my mind uh, because, well, that's why a lot of you probably follow me and are interested in real estate investing because you're interested in freedom and success and things like that. And so it's been a topic that's kind of on my heart, on my mind a lot lately. I wanted to share it with you. And I was reflecting on, because I, I actually asked, I talked to somebody about Investor Fuel yesterday, and uh, they're like, well, what makes, you know, what helps somebody succeed in your group? And, um, and I just kind of made me think about what makes somebody successful overall. I was reflecting on our recent Investor Fuel meeting that we had a few weeks back here. These things that happen so fast, another one's going to be coming up right around the corner. So we'd love to talk to you if you're interested in learning more. But I made a few notes here about what makes uh, what makes somebody successful. And I was reflecting on specifically many of our Investor Fuel uh, members that I've seen have just a major transformation. And I made kind of a short list here of things to talk about. One of them is that successful people are willing to invest in themselves. Like a lot of people, you know, I, I kind of liken it to like Legos. The clues are all out there. You can go watch YouTube, you can watch podcasts, you can watch videos like this, quite frankly. You can read blogs, you can do all those things and see the pieces out there. But the difference is, uh, you know, is it like a bucket full of miscellaneous pieces of Legos that there's no thread that puts them together? Or is it like a kit that you buy that has step one with set one and you put those pieces together first, then you do this and then you do that. And I think by attending a mastermind, by being a part of a group like ours, potentially being in a coaching program if you're newer, um, that's what helps kind of put together the steps to put those pieces together instead of you trying to figure it all out on your own. Now, can you figure it out on your own if you're persistent and you work hard? Yep, you can. And truthfully, that's kind of what I did uh, early on. But when I look back now, could I have achieved success or my definition of success at the time faster if I had somebody put the pieces together? Like years faster, and that's worth effectively millions of dollars to me, right? And it would be to you too. So. Uh, people are willing to invest themselves. You should be willing to invest in yourself. The second one is that people are willing to admit their failures, like publicly. They don't, you know, social media is kind of hard these days because it seems like everybody's successful and everybody drives a Lambo and nobody ever has any problems. And the truth is that's just not true. Social media is doing us a huge injustice in that regard because it's allowing people to thump their chest a little bit and pretend like nothing bad ever happens. But those that are on the learning path know that failure is not uh, death, right? I mean, obviously death is failure, but fail failing is a stepping stone towards success. So let's just talk about it. Let's be willing to kind of share what we failed from. And when you're in a circle like ours, people learn from other people's mistakes too. They learn from their own. They share those mistakes so people can learn from them. And we learn from what other people tell us uh, how they feel like, don't do that. Don't ever try that. Don't use that vendor, whatever it might be, uh, because... Um, look, we just know it's part of the stepping stone process and we're not like embarrassed by it, right? And sometimes maybe our ego's a little bit hurt, but we know that it's not good to just kind of let that stuff fester, like get it out there and talk about it. Another one is, uh, well, what I mentioned was being able to learn from each other's mistakes and not be prideful and not judge people because they did something uh, that was a mis that made a mistake, that made a failure, because we all do, right? And so I think when you're around the right people, you're willing to admit those things, and you're willing to help people kind of get through those tough times. Because the truth is, is this is a weird business. We're we're lonely most of the time. We feel like we don't have a lot of people we can talk to. And what I just said about social media is so true that we basically hide our failures or we're embarrassed by them instead of welcoming those conversations because those are learning opportunities that helps make us better that's not that's not the time to judge somebody right um willing to take fast action and uh jump into things with you know a fair a fair bit of perceived risk it could be hiring new people it could be uh, diving into a bunch of new lead generation things like being willing to test those things and knowing that there's gonna, it's not gonna be perfect. There's gonna be some failure, they're gonna have some mistakes along the way. But again, knowing that you're kind of seeing a consistent theme here, knowing that that's part of the learning process is let me just jump in and you know, put some money, uh, basically be willing to invest some money in people or le big lead generation campaigns or whatever it might be. Because if you fail, you know that's a stepping stone towards success, right? Um, but being, being willing to take that risk. Now, let's be honest, a lot of people that are outside of our industry think that what we do is risky. And honestly, I, of hundreds and hundreds of deals, I've lost money on a, a few deals. And they're painful and I never forget them, but those are lessons, right? And so I, I feel like what I do is 
way less risky than investing in the stock market or Bitcoin or whatever, something else that I know nothing about and I have no control over. So when we say we take risks or we're making risks, they're, they're calculated risks, right? We've, we've done things like this before, so we have our eyes wide open. Um, another thing is have a clear vision for what it is that we're trying to accomplish and what our goals are. We all want more and it gets to a point where it's not more for the sake of more, it's not more for the sake of money, it's more for the resources that gives us to be able to have a bigger impact in our lives. It could be impacting our family, it could be covering health costs if you have some issues in your family, God forbid, it could be uh, being able to take care of extended family, it could be um, helping uh, your church or other charities that you care about, it could be just wanting to leave your stamp on a society and make a bigger impact. And uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about is being not being ego-driven, right? There are some groups that are out there that are very ego-driven, even if they say they're not. And the truth is nobody really opens up. Um, and you've kind of seen this common theme here of like, just talk from your heart. Don't Who cares what anybody else thinks? At the end of the day, I'm going to tell you what's going on right now in America and social media is people are gravitating people that are real. Right? They don't want to hear the BS from... Uh, the people that are, there's an asterisk next to everything they do, right? They're a little bit slimy. And there's a lot of those folks out there and they've given our industry a bad name, but there's a lot of amazing real people out there too. So make sure that you get around them. You know, if you're on the hunt for freedom, and I know you are, these things are very important. And this is kind of what I thought about when I was reflecting on what makes somebody successful. Why is our, why are the members in Investor Fuel so successful? Many of them have just achieved amazing things. That's why. These, this defines, I don't want to say this defines them, but these are uh, many of the, of the things that they think about, they feel about, or they, they practice, certainly, right? And so you should get yourself around more people like this. Again, we'd love to talk to you uh, at Investor Fuel. Our next uh, uh, event is coming up uh, pretty fast. They seem to kind of just keep rolling forward. We really have an amazing group, and I'd love to talk to you if, if you're an active real estate investor looking to... Uh, jump into a group that can absolutely transform your business. We don't do the work for you. We just get you in the right place to talk to the right people and learn from those that have overcome some of the challenges that you're having. So if you are interested, just go to investorfuel.com and you can learn more. By the way, another big announcement that we've just kind of slow leaked out, I guess, is that we now have two groups we call the cash flow groups in partnership with my buddy Corey Peterson. And those are basically uh, for multifamily investors. Either we have, we have a couple of different groups, those that are probably have been single family investors that are looking to get into the multifamily space. So that's more of a learning opportunity. And then we have uh, what we call our platinum group, which is those that have that already own a thousand doors are or more and uh and uh so we have a, a home for everybody if you're interested in multifamily as well just go to investorfuel.com and you can learn more appreciate you a bunch hope you got some value from this even if you're not interested in the mastermind of just making sure that you have the right mindset and get around the right people uh to achieve your what your whatever your definition of success is so awesome hey appreciate you a bunch take, take care we'll see you later